Hi, I'm Amy Douglas and here is your entertainment update. Ontario author Emma Donoghue has won the Writer's Trust Award for her controversial novel, Room. The novel received the $25,000 honour Tuesday night. Room is a tale told from the perspective of a five-year-old boy being held captive in a garden shed with his mother. When released, the novels raised a few brows, having been inspired by the case of Elizabeth Fritzel, the Austrian woman whose father held her captive in a cellar while, fa while fathering her seven children. Room has been a Canadian bestseller since its release in September. CTV is saying goodbye to Star while saying hello again to eCanada. CTV and Comcast International Media Group have announced their plans to do away with Star Television in favor of bringing in eCanada. E was previously operated under the ownership of Can West, but financial difficulties caused the plugs to be pulled on the Celebrity News Talk channel. The new E Canada takes over Star November 29th. Security concerns around a NATO summit have caused Canadian indie rockers the Arcade Fire to cancel one of their shows. The entirely sold out concert was set for the 18th of November in Lisbon, Portugal. The Arcade Fire did offer to move the show ahead by one day, but Summit organizers said it was impossible. The band says they are disappointed and promise to refund all tickets. They hope to be back in Portugal soon. The Royal Bank of Scotland is simmering over TV personality and celebrity chef Gordon Ramsay. The bank is making a bid to stop the Hell's Kitchen star from selling his London home. Ramsay's family home had been put on the market for close to £3 million. The bank had been holding the property for the security against the star's many debts, and he was attempting to sell it without their permission. Just last year, Ramsey fell in hard financial times and was faced with sinking over $8 million of his own dollars into it just to keep it afloat. The business, Gord the business Gordon Ramsey Holdings reported a loss of $6.8 million just last year. The television game show industry has lost an icon. Wheel of Fortune! Respected game show producer Charlie O'Donnell has died. He is most famous for being the announcer on the Wheel of Fortune. O'Donnell joined Wheel of Fortune in 1975. His credits also include the Oscars and the $20,000 Pyramid. He was also Dick Clark's early sidekick on American Bandstand. O'Donnell was 78. That's all for entertainment. Now back to you in the studio. That's all for Humber News today. Thanks for joining us. I'm Crystal Burney. And I'm Romy Levine. Humber News is written and produced by the journalism students here at the North Campus. You can catch us online at mediaservices.humber.ca and YouTube. We'll see you next time.